Oh god, why is it something bad? What is that? Oh jeez, Titanosaur. No. Run, buddy, run. Run, Spino. Oh, my poor Spino. Let's go, Arx Family Bomb TBF Gaming, jumping back into our center eternal playthrough. Excited to get going today. We've got genomes, we've got shiny dinos, and we've got combat trainer. And if you guys saw the last video, you know that Eternal just had a big change. They added alpha everything within their own code. So now, dinos within Eternal will show up as alpha dinos randomly, and we got ourselves an alpha turtle, which means it's a little bit bigger. You can see a little bit of a size difference between these two. You can really see if we're kind of in front of them here. You can see the, the other one is quite a bit bigger. Let me back it up. You can see even better. There we go. There you go. Boom. There you go. So you can see the other one is a little bit bigger, and I can increase that in the INI I if we wanted to make it even more dramatic and drastic. I'm wondering how the baby's going to come out. We have been breeding them together. So this is a alpha elemental fire turtle, and then this is a fire turtle. They're still the same dinos. This one just has the alpha identifier, and it's a little bit more powerful. So now, between combat trainer and shiny dinos and genomes, and it's going to get a little insane as we go through this a little bit. You also see that I have my FPS up on the top right over there. I don't usually leave that up there, but... With Arc Genomes, it is a server killer. Let me just be honest. It is a amazing mod, but it is hard on servers. And when some of the dust clouds hit or some of the different storms hit, it goes a little bit insane. That's what we're dealing with right now. But I'm kind of running around seeing how it goes. Right now, it's running smooth, but a little bit ago, I was down in the single digits for a good 20 minutes. And then it was fine again. And some, it's one of the storms that comes in. I don't know which one. Anyway, so that's the random stuff. I try not to ever, like, I, I make sure that I, I'm very careful not to complain about mods. Because these mod developers work their butts off. They do amazing jobs on these mods. And I, and I love Arc Genomes. But it is very hard on server. So if, if you're playing with a lot of people, it's going to be rough. And anytime you have a server with much of a population, like with Genomes, even a few people, it gets a little rough. So, anyways... All that aside, huge shout out to those mod developers though, man. We, between LK and the Genomes developer and a bunch of other awesome mod developers we've had an opportunity to talk to. Thank you so much for all the work they do. Anyways, let's get into it. Huge shout out to you guys for checking this video out. Huge shout out to the patrons for making all these servers possible. Let's go adventure time today. So today we're going to do something super exciting. We're going to add foundations. So someone said a few, a few episodes back, they said that they missed some episodes because they didn't see all this building. All I did was add some foundations. That's literally it. We've got... I don't know, maybe 40 foundations that way, and maybe, you know, like 12 or so foundations over there, and then that one foundation up there that's sitting there because I forgot to get it. Other than that, we haven't really done anything. I threw some railing down, I threw a couple benches down, and that is it. We don't have much else going on, but we're going to go ahead and build the rest of this out because earlier... Trying to see if there's anything crazy down here. Earlier, we got attacked over here by a Sarko. It came up here, tried to attack everything. Luckily, Daphne, the Alpha Dodo, jumped over here and saved the day and ate it. And between this one and the Dimorphodons, they wrecked it pretty quickly. So that was kind of awesome. But that's kind of the big stuff we're doing. I just got done doing a little bit of a gathering trip. Ooh, what did we leave behind? Ooh, don't leave that behind. Hold on. We almost lost that. That would have been a bummer. Let's pick that up. All the stuff from the Anki just now. Boom. There we go. All right. So, yeah, we, we went around with the Anki, the Doed, and the Stego and did a bunch of gathering. We've got a whole bunch of foundations to throw down. We're going to do that. I probably can't even carry them all, can I? No, we can. Look at that. Awesome. So, we'll go put these in. It's not going to be the most exciting thing, but just so you guys can see it because apparently we need to show that more often. And I'm, I'm really bad about it because the way that I do building, I do a lot of put things up, take them down, and I, I redo things over and over, and if things don't line up, I'm not big, big on, like, OCD or anything like that, because I have a nice combination of OCD and ADD at the same time, so I, I forget what I'm obsessed about all the time, but we do often get a little bit crazy with redoing our base over and over, or I'll do a bunch of building for, like, an hour or two, and then I'll delete it all, because I won't really like the way that it lays out, just kind of weird stuff like that that we'll do sometimes. Let's see. Hopefully, we're going to have enough to finish this out. I think we're going to end up a little bit short. I'm also wondering if I should give a bigger opening to get down because I can't get my Spino up. But for right now, we're going to roll with it like this. It's not too big of a deal. We can get everything out using between the Soul Balls and the Pickup Mod. Not the Pickup Mod. The Eternal Pickup Relic. Between all those things, we can still kind of get in and out of the base easily. But I do like to be able to kind of go out of regular door. But there you go. Slowly finish this out. This will give us a little more room to kind of stretch our dinos out. I won't leave too many dinos out because I don't want to mess up server health. But other than that, we can definitely kind of spread everybody out just a little bit. Can I make like another, I don't know, 30 foundations or so? Let's go foundation action and like another 30 of these guys. 33 it is. All right, and that is it for our stone and wood. So that's all the stone, wood, and thatch we had. In terms of the rest of our supplies, we're doing great. We've got so much over here, but I need to make a teleporter. I've got my first soul station. 
So now this is picking up our eggs and incubating them for us so we can hatch them up a little bit sooner. And then over here we've got our... Uh, what else? Oh, we got our soul gun. And I've got my hand set for the teleporter. But now I need a teleporter base. So let's look at that. I'm sorry, not tele... Teleporter base. For that, I need 20 electronics. Do you make electronics? I think we can make electronics with, like, one of these guys, can't we? Let's throw them down to make sure that's not the case. Here, we'll throw the dough head here. It's not you. No, you make, like, the mortar pestle type stuff. It's not the Anki, though he can make element for us. Element, no electronics. It's not the Stego. So maybe we just need to make a AA Smithy. There we go. You don't make anything. I thought you crafted something. Maybe I'm thinking of the... You know, we're probably thinking of our Therizino over there. There we go. Let's check his one. What do you make? I think you just make narcotics and stuff. Weapons, melee. So you make a pike, which I already have. You make taming potion. That's kind of awesome. And you make hot potions. That's awesome. So he can gather the stuff and then make the potions for you. That's amazing. Very, very cool. All right, so that's all those things. Let's go ahead and get these last foundations. We'll finish this out, and then we'll go out on an adventure today. See if we can find some cool stuff to get into, and hopefully find ourselves a few things to tame up and add to the collection. We're still working on the elemental tier. We will move to the alpha tier soon. And to be honest with you guys, we could already be in the alpha tier or higher, but I'm trying to take my time this season and make sure we go through a lot of the dinos. Oh, no. Hold on. Do I have a gun? I don't. Time to make an S-plus gun. Get that. Alright, and then we'll grab that. Structure. Give me that back. Thank you. Okay, try it again. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely... We could go a lot faster through the tiers, but i really like to take my time and kind of experience some of the dinos that we don't, don't normally get a chance to. And every time I play Eternal, we end up focusing on some kind of different dinos. It makes a lot of fun. Just, you know, because a lot of times, man, you, you fly through playthroughs so fast that you don't get a chance to do a lot of those things. But yeah, it's starting to get dark out. Is it dark out? No, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Shouldn't be dark. All right, we'll replace a few of these, and then we'll be done. There we go. And I know someone's going to ask why we are able to put foundations like this. This is a S-plus option. We don't require foundations, and that's just so we can do some crazy builds. Some people do sky builds, and some people do some really insane castle stuff. And it just makes it to where people can get kind of crazy with it. Makes a little bit of fun. All right, uh, let's go like that, like that. Put that back down there. I think we're good, man. I think we're good. All right, the crew today is going to be our fire turtle. Oh, wait, no, we're going to check. Can I make a bit the stuff for it? Let's go like this. Let's go AA. We're going to make the AA bench. Automated arc, one of my all-time favorite mods. We'll get this bench out here real quick. All right, AA bench. Oh, my bad. There we go. And let's see if we can make an incubator since I can't make the other one. Maybe I have enough for that. An incubator, boom. We have the incubator, and then do I have enough for the smithy? The smithicator? The Smithicator is amazing because it can pretty much make everything. And we got the top and the bottom. That's amazing. Awesome. Got that. Got that. Now, we'll probably use the Eternal Generator once we get to where we can do that. Generator. Uh, structures. Electric. It might be on this one. Eternal Structures. Structures. Electric. Cooking, crafting, lighting. I think it might be on the other one. I don't know. There's so many good things in the Eternal mod. I kind of forget sometimes. It must be in here. Well, let's do this one more time. Structures. Boss, collector, crafting. Maybe crafting? No, but I do need those things. Crystal converter. We need that soon. That's pretty expensive. It's going to be a while before we get there. Death recovery we got. Forge, gas collector. Power. There we go. For that one, I need 2,400 metal. We could get that pretty soon, but I need polymer. So we need lots and lots of polymer. All right. So we need to go on a polymer quest. That's doable. All right. So let's go ahead and pick up our friends here. We're going to take you with us today. I'm going to leave you there. Let's take a flyer. And I think that's everybody we need. Just in case, we'll take you in case we need to do some gathering. All right. It is venture time. Let's go. So there you go. That at least finishes out the backside of the base place. And then we, what we're going to do after that is we're going to move up to this level. And then we're going to build another floor here. So we'll have two separate floors. One for dinos, one for crafting. And then 
If you see that little back window, we're going to build back behind there also. It is two separate rooms. You can't go through the window or anything. It is blocked, but we can still go back there. All right, so we need lots of polymer and lots of metal. We can get the metal going first. Hold on. Quickly, quickly with this guy. Let's get all of our metal on here. We should have a decent amount since we just went collecting 4,000. Not quite as much as I thought. So let's go ahead and turn on smelting. And let's pump up your crafting speed even faster. Boom. Oh, yeah, that's going to make all the metal. That'll be amazing. All right, cool. So what else will we need? We'll just need polymer, right? So structures, power. We need 2,000, so we'll have enough metal when we get back. And we need 500 polymer. Let's go. So 500 polymer, we're good. Now, base build-wise, we're going to eventually build out here. We'll build onto this little platform, and I'll do like some glass out here so we can see out here all the time. Kind of look around and see what's up. Let's go see if we see some really cool alphas. We're going to go out to Danger Bay over here. This is a really dangerous spot. It is the, the obelisk over here. This is a great spot for polymer, but it's also really, really dangerous. Are we good? Okay, there's a few bad things. It's not, it's not too, too bad. Oh, well, no, there's that. Let's go over here. This is often a overspawn area, too. You got to be really careful. We're going to go over here, and we're going to crunch you guys up. Oh, what is that down there? A fire baryonyx. Oh, great. Okay. Please don't come up here. Who is my best face eater that we have on us? Spino time. Oh, the frames over here are rough. Look at the frame rate. There we go. Give me all your polymer. Oh, it's so low collection-wise. All right, we can go ahead and do a beef potion. All right, we need to go up there for the rest of those guys. Can I get up that way? I don't know. We don't come out here very often because it is a little dangerous. Sometimes there's a bunch of Tussos, too. Oh, it's dark down here. Can't see anything. All right, we're going to eat everything we see. Oh, the frame rate's even worse over here. Being in the water is bad. And I'll, I'll shut the frame rate off here in the next couple episodes, but we want to kind of keep an eye on it and see how bad these storms are being over here. It's definitely not good. Can I get up over here? Hopefully I can get up right there. Come on. Come on. All right. Oh, you know who we should have right now? Oh, oh, don't hit the prime guy. So how much polymer do we get? That's 100. I'm just curious to what all is going to spawn in as we do this. I wonder if I switched my theory, if it'd be a better idea. All right, we're up to 128 kills, though. Get you guys... We'll definitely get the Stego out and do a little bit of collecting over here. Oh, that's a poison owl. Oh, I thought that was a body there. Or I think it is. Dino blood. All right, that is almost all of them. We didn't get quite as much polymer as I had hoped. see the baryonyx down there i don't really know if there's like another oh no we're breaking the metal my bad see there's that prime guy he's got 1.9 million that would take us like a year and a half to do all right let's go all melee so that's 164 what do we got over there rock drakes rock drake karukus there's karukus this way Try and eat as many as we can. Oh, Barry Onyx, no. Please don't hit me, Barry. Get out of the water before it happens. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Don't fight him. Oh, that's that was bad. Alright, we're just going to run and collect at the same time. 
Nice. Give me your stuff. So far, so good. Let's go to this beach over here. 139 kills. As long as the Baryonyx doesn't sneak up behind me and hit us. Yeah, we don't get very much from each one of these. We are up to 228. I need another 250. All right, what else? What do we got over here to look at? A little Anki action. All right, I don't remember if there's another spot that's good on this map. It's been so long since I've been on this map. Uh, oh, there's another island like straight north, right? We'd have to go a long ways though. Let's just keep running around. They should spawn in fast enough for me to eat a few more. Now we're going to run away from those guys. All right, uh, let me run around in circles for a few minutes and see if we can get as many as possible. And then we'll go ahead and go back to base and get that generator made up. And then we'll throw the incubator down. We'll hatch a couple eggs and then we'll be good to go. Oh, we finally lost that saver that's been chasing us for like a year. All right, we're good. I, need, I really need water. We're searching for water right now. I'm, I don't think I can get up off this. Dang it. I think we live here now. We could go down there to the water, but that is a long way down. Hold on, we can make it right here. Right here. Make it. Come on, Spino Man. Oh god, why is it something bad? What is that? Oh jeez, Titanosaur. No. Run, buddy, run. Run, Spino. Oh, my poor Spino. Oh, my Spino had leveled up so far. We got trapped. We were stuck under things. I don't think we got all of our stuff off of him either. Oh, man, oh, man. Um, let's gather our stuff. Oh, no, dragon. Stop it, dragon. And we can't we can't knock him out. Well, we can knock him out, but we can't tame him or anything. Here, hold on. We're going to lose him like this. How much can we do torpor-wise? Not enough. All right, I'm just trying to get close enough to see if my... <gasps> the Spino's body is there. We can recover him. We can recover him. We do quite a bit of torpor to this guy. Let me see if we can lose him down here. Well, we can't tame him or anything. These guys are not tameable. They're ev only evolution. Oh, man. Let's go down here. Also, I was looking at the Alpha Rhino. It looks like the Alpha Rhino is a... Oh, look at that. A dreary, corrupted rock drake. But it looks like the Alpha Rhino only takes eternal berries. Come on, come on. Oh my god, he is all on us. You know what, that's fine. Here, you stay right here. I think he could wreck us. Let's be a little careful. Losing him is not a thing. We're going to just have to knock this guy out. Trying to lose him around these edges here. Okay. He'll eventually start running away, but... At least he hasn't hit us. I'm glad their hitbox is a little weird. Gotta push him over a million. Maybe he'll leave us alone. Nope. Wait for his torpor to stop, and we'll do it again. Alright. Can you leave me alone now? Still no? Come on, one more. There you go. You running yet? Come on, leave us alone, man. I just have to go up there to recover our guy. We're already at 1.6. We're going to end up knocking him out. This is okay. Maybe we can get him up here. We can actually... Oh. 1.8. He might go out on that one. It's going to be really close. Two million. One more hit. Got him. Go down right there. Where is he at? There he is. Oh, he's going to go down right next to our guy. This is perfect. Nice. All right. Recover our guy. Come on. Come on. Land, dude. Land. All right. Go like this. We've saved the Spino. Maybe. There it is. Save the Spino. All right. And then we'll transfer all of this stuff to your inventory. Boom. And then we're going to go fire turtle. 
Here we go. It's going to take some bites, but let's eat this guy up. There we go. Yeah, melt him away. 600,000. Uh, also, what is he going to spawn in when we do this? That's kind of the worry. All right, how much will this increase? A whole bunch of levels in the melee. Not very much at all. <laughs> oh my god, leveling is going to be rough on this guy. Almost done. 150. Alright. Let's see what spawns. Everything's fine. Sweet. We're good. Alright. Good job, Super Turtle. Dino DNA. Sweet, man. Oh, let's eat our body. Get rid of this marker. Alright, so now, as I was talking about... <gasps> Oh, I wish. I can't make that much meat yet. The Alpha Pteranodon would kind of change everything. But there was a rhino over here. We can go after one of those rhinos. Or what is that? A powerful griffin, though. No. Alright, let's avoid the wyvern. But let me look at these rhinos. There's a few rhinos over here. There's that one right there. 380 Eternal Alpha Wooly Rhino. Come here, buddy. Come here. It's only 569,000, and he will take eternal berries. So this is doable. And these are usually decently strong. I don't know on this vanilla type settings. I'm not really sure. There you go. If he hits us, we're in trouble, but we can just keep him right over here. Everything's going to be fine. There we go. We'll just spam attack him while we're holding him. Everything's going to be fine. Nice. His head's that way. It's perfect. This is kind of the perfect spot. He's only 380. He's not like a crazy OP tame or anything. There you go. Knockout, please. Yeah, there we go. Oh, God. The Titan's back. Not great. Oh. Why did his health go down like that? Did someone eat him? Okay, do I have berries? I've got lots of berries. Okay, all the berries. Okay, I'm gonna pick you up just so nothing bad happens. Oh no, I forgot that your inventory is insane. Okay, we can still move. Alright, there you go. What are you tamed out to? Not bad at all. Come on. You won't let me pick this up. There we go. Alright, back to the base place. Get away from this guy. Last remote location. As long as we do last remote location, we can go back. Oh, no, no, fly, fly. That's an enraged. Oh, that was close. Look at that getaway. That was amazing. All right. And we're going into worse danger zone. Good, good. Oh, it's so bad over here, but there's a raptor. Stop everything. What kind of raptors we got over here? Nothing good. Oh, God. I hear footsteps. Let's take off. There's a lot of stuff getting eaten down there. I'm trying to see if there's like a elemental raptor, but no go. All right, we'll go down the beach a little bit. All right, we need to find one more tame. The Alpha Rhino will be nice, but the Alpha Rhino does not gather. So other than that, it is a great tame. All right. That was a good landing, right? Ooh, what is that? A Leechen Elemental Fire Spino. That'd be doable. We could definitely get a Fire Spino. All right. Let's go ahead and test the Rhino out here. This would be a good starting point. I think this island is, is safe-ish. Saddle. Boom. Boom. All right. Although, is that a specific feather light? A storm elemental lightning feather light. But we would need crazy resources for that. Alright, how much damage should we do? Uh, zero. Lag. No. Oh, that is a bad spot to crash in. Please don't crash, guys. Hmm. Alright. It's not a good sign. Fish are flying. I think we might be crashed, guys. I'll be back in a few minutes, possibly. We fall out. Uh, let's see. Oh, right where we were. Look at that. Not even like a really a rewind, other than the fact that there is now a thing there. What is that one? That is a. I don't know. It's a bad tower. It's a bad tower. Also, there, oh, there's fire on that side. Oh, that's my right over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Come back, buddy. There you go. Oh, wow. Oh, it's bad over here. Okay. Buddy, what are you doing? Oh, I hear footsteps like I'm going to die. Everything's fine. Oh, no, there's definitely bad things over here. Okay. Oh, no, there is all the lag. Do we have flying fish again? Oh, more flying fish. All right, I'm going to blame the fire tower. I don't think that's it, but I'm going to blame the fire tower. Oh, things are going again. Oh, there's Mad and Garmers. Where is my rhino? Oh, God, I'm on fire. Okay. What's lighting me on fire this time? I don't even know. It's a mana armor. Awesome. Has anyone seen my rhino? We are a little bit hurting. Can I heal underwater? I can't. Can I heal above water, please? Rhino. Has anybody seen my rhino? I don't know. Did we pick our rhino up? No. There's so many bad things. Elemental poison feather light would be amazing. Too bad we can't tame that. I don't know where our rhino is. Okay, we're gonna go rhino searching. Oh, we're out of the cloud. Everything's fine. Oh, that just happened. Whew. All right, well, my rhino is somewhere out there. I don't think we're gonna be able to recover it. I don't have any idea where it's at. And I don't want to go back out there to that danger cloud. So we're going to just stay in this area and see if we can tame up something else real quick. We need a backup tame. That's what we need. Let's go ahead and get our cloth back on. There we go. Boom. All right. Backup tame time. Let's go. There is something knocked out right there, but that's basically a nighttime dino. That's not going to help us very much. You can see I cleared all this out. Oh, I didn't clear that much out. Hold on. Oh, God. Did, did the server crash and lose all its trees? We do have a surprising lack of trees <laughs> and textures in general. Wow, when a server loses trees. Okay, well let's just do like a little look around here. Everything seems fine. We're still we're still online. Okay, we had to run a wipe on all towers. The trees are not back yet. We're going to worry about that in a minute. That's that's the next worry. For right now, let's go see if maybe we'll get lucky and get our guy back. The problem is everything that was dangerous is still over there. But maybe we can at least see our rhino this time. I think we're this way. Hopefully no crashes. We can get over there and get this done. Is it that island? I think it's that island. I don't know. I can't see anything very well. we got a fog coming in. I'm definitely going to use the Mr. Fister fog removal for now on. Oh, there's someone's base. Ominous skies. What's up, ominous skies? That is a two-so hanging out in the water. All right. Has anybody seen an alpha rhino? I hope he didn't die. Everything's fine. Like, I didn't see a death message. Maybe he's still in my inventory. I don't even know. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Is everything okay for like two seconds? Hold on. I won't kill you, right? Don't die. Don't die. Just go to sleep. Okay. Nothing come eat me, please. Berries, berries, berries. Boom. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Not the most important tame, but it's an important tame that's going to give us all the dyes imaginable. So we can make all of our stuff the right color. All right. Uh, let me just double check that my rhino is not on my inventory. Okay. All right. If you were my rhino, where would you be? Is he out in the water? All right. We're going to have to use the spyglass function. Let's do this. Aggression outlines, boom. We talked about this a couple episodes ago. I don't like to use this very often, but we're on the search for my own rhino real quick. So we had landed there. He ran across here and was fighting stuff. Did he run out in the water? Is he randomly out in the water somewhere, maybe? Okay, I think we see part of the problem. Look at this place. Oh, wow. Getting a couple screenshots of that before we crash. There we go. Oh. <laughs> uh, being in the water is not the best. I don't know if we can get out of the water. We cannot. So now I'm just doing the long swim. All right. Uh, I'll meet you guys <laughs> over there on land. Please make it. We're not going to make it. Hold on. I can wreck that guy. If he comes to me, we can. Nope. Can't wreck him, though. 
Come on. Get him. Yeah, take that. Okay. Pike him. Pike him. Alright, we're wrecking him. Everything's fine. Yep. We're doing okay. Why are they going down? Are we getting close to land? Probably not. No, no, don't jaws me. Stop it. Oh no, a fire megalodon. No. No, I can't swim any faster. No, oh, that hurt. Oh, my face. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, that is a Thyla. Hold on. What kind of Thyla are you? I'm trying to see. Hold on, go like this. That is a powerful fire Thyla, okay? I think that it's still tameable, but I need to land real quick and get our bird out. And we're going to try to knock out a Thyla. Let's get a backup dino for today. There you go. Don't fall down just yet. Also, don't go near there. Or there. Or there. All right, good. Hey, if nothing else, these guys are spawning in nicely today. Thyla's everywhere. What, what are you? Regular Thyla? All right. So now we need to do this... Like, kind of smooth. Got Oh, not the Eternal Jerboa. Hold on. Terra. Oh, God. Do I not have my Pteranodon? Is it in my hand? No. Z. Blaze. Ozone. Zs. There it is. All right. Let's find someone to knock out. What's up, buddy? All right. We definitely got our pick of all these crazy... Thylas. We've got a lightning thyla, only level 80. Another thyla, level 80. That's an alpha, though. He just got alpha eyesed. So he's an alpha, even though. There we go. Alright, we can definitely knock this guy out pretty easy. No, oh, not that, though. Alright, can I grab you and then take you away? I'm a little worried about that rock drake. I'm sorry. Oh, that rock drake is way too close. There is nothing I'm doing with that guy. <laughs> nope. Okay, there's also there's a fire thyla, but he's really low level. Okay, you're going that way. You go that way. Okay, ready? Did I miss? Oh, my God. That rock drake wants us. Okay. Let's forget about that guy. Let's go back this way. What are you? There's another Thyla 360. This is definitely Thyla country over here. We could do it. Elemental 580. A Lightning Thyla 580 and a Fire 200. And I'm not giving up on that guy just yet. We'd have to swoop in to get him. Alright, can I pick you up? That's the question. Don't get bitten. Don't get bit. Don't get bit. Don't get bit. I'm a little worried that the electricity will take us down, so let's get away from all this bad stuff. Not that there's anywhere safe. That's worse. That's worse. Everywhere is worse. <laughs> there's nowhere safe. All right, uh, over here. Okay. Can I bite you by doing that? No. What if I if we do the little relax thing? Nope. Okay, well, at least hit you once. Whoa. Regular Carno. That's fine. Alright, we're focusing on this guy. It's not a hard knockout. He wants 149 raw mutton. We might be able to make some actual prime meat. We're going to go back and try to make some of the good meats. Do we hit him? We hit him. What is coming from over there? All right, we're good. Everything's fine. Okay, one more hit on you. Okay, go to sleep. Come on. There you go. Snooze. Perfect. All right. Ah, oh, where's the last time that I teleported? Oh, low flow's got a base near there. Low flow's very close. Oh, easy metal and crystals right above our base. All right. 
Luckily, the trees are growing back from the crazy issues from earlier. Everything's going fine now. We'll get this little Thyla. This, oh, jeez. That's not what you want to come into. Whew, okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> I thought it was the end of our bird. I don't want to lose my bird. All right, we'll go over here. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Everything's a little hard to figure out with no identifying markers or... Okay, there's the castle. There's a Alpha Carvo. There is... There's Thinman's little spot. Thinman's been helping us out, trying to figure out some of the issues here on the server, see if we can get them fixed up. Okay, I'm not... Yeah, we're going the right way. Wait a minute, what was that? An Alpha Rock Elemental. He's giant. Okay, focus. Let's go down to the base place. Alright, let me see how much Alpha Meat we can make. We need quite a bit for these little thylas. Hopefully we can make just a little bit of it. We'll go back and then that'll be good for today. Yeah, kind of a, a lot of loss today. A lot of bummer. <laughs> a lot of struggle. But that's kind of the eternal way. Let's go with this here. And see what we can actually make. So meat. I can make five. Based on what we have in there. Do I have any more hearts or DNA on me? I got that. We need hearts. Not going to happen. Okay, so we'll just go with that. That's fine. Now, once we get a grinder, I do have a couple saddles that we've been getting as drops. You can see the saddles that... Like, there's a... Kentro saddle. We can grind that. That'll help out a little. Alright, so five meat at least gets us started. And then we'll take a giant stack of that. And I don't think we have mutton, do we? No. No mutton. Okay. Alright, let's go back. And we'll put all the stuff that we have on there. I don't think we need a taming potion or anything. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed for a Thyla. Let's go. All right, everything's safe. So we've got the little bit of alpha meat and the prime. It's not going to be a great tame. He's going to lose a lot of levels. We'll go with this, though. And he's still a knockout guy because he's lightning. And he'll do the stun attack, too. So it'll be it'll be all right. He's going to eat all the way through this. He's going to lose a lot of levels, though. Oh, man. It's going to lose a lot, a lot. But all right. We'll sit here and wait for it. Raw mutton would be nice, but there's nothing up here that I can get mutton from, I don't think. I don't think there's going to be, like, a random thing just walking around here. See, there's a fire thyla, but we'd have to get so much more prime. There's a poison thyla. That'd be awesome. 400 poison thyla. I'm not going in there to get it, but that's awesome. <gasps> Glotel. Hold on. You're passive, aren't you? Come on, dude. Oh, did I get him? I got him. It says he's a passive tame. All right. We're going to try to take him back to base. Where'd my thyla go? 58%. A poison direwolf over there. That's not good. All right, I'm gonna hold on to this this guy because I'm gonna try to tame him. Oh no, it's so much. I thought you would eat berries for some reason. I don't know. I still want it though. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Let me wait for this guy and then we'll see if we can take this guy back because it, it's so many feedings. I don't think it'd be worth it. He is healing up nice. It would be six alpha meat. That's a lot of meat. All right, he's on the final couple bites. I'm kind of wondering if this guy's going to aggro as soon as he wakes up. I'm not sure. We're at 93. 94, yeah, and final few percentage points here. Get him up, and I'm going to try and teleport all three of us back into the base so we can try to tame this guy up passively over in between episodes or in the next episode. I don't really know what we're going to do, but we can get him in base, and so we'll figure it out from there. There you go. He's about to wake up. Let's see if he attacks. I want to see if that Megatherium aggro's on him. Come on, do the thing. Yeah, there you go. All right. All right. Oh, God. Get off the ground. What are you doing? Get. Okay, hold on. Stop following. I thought that thing was going to attack us, that's all. All right, let's go like this. And we're going to go... Last remote. We should... 
teleport inside the base with the glow tail if the settings are right and they are yeah there you go so we got our thyla we got a glow tail in the base that is awesome i can't do it i can't do anything to it right now we're gonna try and keep him in the base until next episode i'll get you a saddle and we'll test you out next episode let's pick you up awesome guys awesome awesome anyways guys i hope you enjoyed it like comment subscribe kind of a disaster episode but still a lot of fun at least we got a thyla and we got ourselves a little kind of little tiny jerboa that i'm really excited about see you in the next one thank you so much